welcome back to my channel so today I have yet another review for you guys and it is going to be on the new cover FX custom enhancer drops and they just look like this and I picked these up from Sephora and they retail for $44 and I honestly think that this product is worth the $44 because there is so much that you can do with just one product which is what I'm going to be showing you in today's video I just used it to mix in with my foundation as well as highlight my entire face and I didn't set any of my highlighted areas with a powder so this product is pretty amazing and I think that you know you can mix it in with almost any foundation and it'll probably look good but today is a first impressions video this is my first time using this product so I will be using it for the first time and testing it out for the first time on camera today and I have to say that I am pretty pleased with how my makeup turned out today such a beautiful natural glow to the skin and I just I really like it and this is the only product that sorry <laughs> this is the only product that I use to highlight today so yeah if you guys are interested in seeing how I use the new cover FX custom enhancer drops then just keep on watching Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And I just feel like highlighting is such a big thing this summer and everybody wants to highlight whether you have oily skin, whether you have dry skin, just the glowy skin look in general. It's just, it's all in. Everybody's all about the highlight. So of course when I saw that Cover FX came out with these Custom Enhancer Drops, I wanted to try them. You're supposed to be able to do so much stuff with these drops so today I'm just going to do my makeup with these drops I'm going to add them in my foundation and I'm just going to use them to highlight today only I'm not going to use any powder highlight I'm going to only be using the cover FX custom enhancer drops so I think they come in six shades and they're $44 a piece and I think they're like three highlighting shades and three bronzing shades I picked up the darkest highlighting shade which is candlelight and this is just how the bottle looks on that. It's very pretty. So I'm just going to show you a swatch of it. And it comes in like a little, you know, dropper. Just like the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. So it's going to drop. And this is just how they look. I'm just going to blend that out. And it's such a pretty gold. And that's the swatch on my finger. And there it is on my hand. So I'm trying to do this video without my ring light because I kind of felt like my last video was kind of washed out. So I'm only using my accent lights. I'm still trying to get the whole lighting thing down. So just let me know what you guys think about this lighting setup. I mean, I'm not sure. I just wanted to try it without the ring light today because I feel like the ring light kind of washed my face out the last video. So yeah, this is the swatch and it, it dries down really quickly and it almost kind of feels like it dries down to kind of like a powder consistency. Not a powder, but... I don't I mean it, it it dries down and it's very easy to work with and very easy to blend so I feel like this would be an awesome highlighter to put on top of your powders and it probably won't move your powders so I'm going to get right into the demo and I'm going to be mixing my cover FX custom enhancer drops in with my makeup forever ultra HD foundation Alright guys, so really quickly before I do that, I don't want to forget to prime, so I'm going to prime using my Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Alright, now I'm just going to do some light color correcting with my MAC Prep and Prime Pen in Peach Luster. And I have a scar, of course, left over from a previous breakout from my time of the month that I kind of want to conceal right here. And then I kind of want to conceal the imperfections 
like the discoloration in my face. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that really quickly before I start to apply the foundation. All right, so now that color correcting is done, we're going to get on to the application process. And of course, as you can see, I've started out with my brows already done and my eyes already done because I was using this video to focus on the base. So I'm just going to take my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation and I'm going to put maybe two pumps on my hand. And now I'm just going to take the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And I don't know, I don't want to make it too shiny. I don't want to make it look like I'm doing the highlighter challenge. <laughs> so I'm just going to start off to be on the safe side. I'm just going to put one drop. So there it is. Now let me just mix it in and see how it looks. I don't really think the one drop did anything, so let's just add one more drop. Okay, now I'm just going to apply it to my face. Alright guys, so it says custom enhancer drops empower you to add a highlighting or bronzing effect to any liquid cosmetics or skincare product, such as foundation, primer, serum, and moisturizer. Available in six global shades, four illuminators, and two bronzers. The product can also be used alone or even on top of powder to create a highlight or sun-kissed tint. This product is buildable. More drops produce more luminosity. Alright, so here is the side of my face, the right side, with my foundation applied with the custom enhancer drops added. And I added two drops. I added two squirts of foundation and two drops. And this is just how it looks. It definitely gives a really pretty glow to the skin. I really like it. And here is the side with no makeup applied. Alright, so now I am just going to apply it to the rest of my face so you can just see the whole finished look. Alright guys, it also says custom enhancer drops were formulated with a high concentration of pearls that produce a lit from within glow without appearing too glittery or too overdone. The results, a beautiful camera ready lustrous finish. Now it does say that this product is for all skin types, so anyone should be able to use these custom enhancer drops. Alright, now here is my face with the application process on the entire face. And I definitely see the glow, like it really does leave a really pretty healthy luminous glow through your foundation. I really like how it looks. So this is it applied to my entire face. So I am really quickly going to finish off the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to come back when I get ready to do the highlighting process. Alright guys, so I am back and I am done with the rest of my makeup and I put, I don't I, I did my makeup like I regularly do it, like I 
with the concealer, the highlighter. I set it with the powder. I set my entire face with the powder. And you can still see the glow through all the powder. So I really, really, really like this product. So now I'm going to highlight with this product. I'm just going to take it. I'm not even going to suck any up in there. I'm just going to put three or four drops. Okay, right there. And I'm just going to do it one cheek at a time. And then I'm just going to use a clean beauty blender to blend my highlight in. Right, and there's the highlight. And now I'm just going to do the other cheek. And now I am just going to put a little bit on my nose and one on my forehead, one on my chin. And I just only put little dots because I don't want to put too much. So now it's going to blend that out. I'm gonna try the cubic bow. I think I better just put a little bit on my finger. And there you have it. Alright guys, so this is my face after I've applied my highlighter and I've applied just a lippy and sprayed some setting spray. And this is just how it looks. I really like it. I think that it gives a beautiful glow all over, but I only use this highlighter only. I didn't use any highlighters to set. I highlighted my cubic bow, my nose, my forehead, my chin, and the tops of my cheekbones. And I picked up the shade Candlelight. 
and this highlighter retails for $44. It is pretty pricey. So if anything, just go into Sephora and ask for a sample and just test it out. And if you like it, which I am positive that you will, then just go ahead and purchase it because this is just an all around product. You can do so much with these cover, with these cover effects, enhanced custom drops, custom enhanced drops, I'm sorry. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up my review. I picked mine up from Sephora. I will leave a link in the description box down below, like always when I do a review, as to where this product can be purchased, but you can go into the store and get it. I think that you can get it on the CoverFX's website as well, but I'll check and leave everything in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. Until the next video. Thank you.